from a tower of height h a particle is thrown vertically upward with a speed u the time taken by the particle to hit the ground is n times that of the time taken by it to reach the highest point of its path the relation between h u and n is is a question from 2014 j mains assume that you have a tower see see from the bottom this is the height of the tower okay from the tower you are throwing a body in the upward direction and that body comes back to ground okay now the time taken given in the problem that the time taken to reach the maximum height from the surface or from the top of the building or the tower okay so the time between these two point is given as t let it be take it as t okay or t1 and the time taken for the entire trip time taken for the entire trip that means from the starting point see up journey is t1 plus you know whatever time is taking the total journey time is given as t2 okay and one more information is given that t2 is equal to n times t1 okay this is the information provided in the problem now assume the height of the tower is h okay and this point i am choosing as origin so upward direction is plus y direction plus y and downward direction is minus y direction so this is the origin if that is the case we can apply kinematic equation for displacement how much is displacement s is equal to ut plus half z square so i am going to apply so h is in the downward direction all of you know that okay see here s is nothing but minus of h because h is in the minus y direction is equal to u is there u into total t2 time you have to put because the total time you have to substitute in this equation minus of half into g t2 square because you know the uh, the body is moving the acceleration is acting in the minus y direction now we can find out t1 always how to find out v is equal to u plus a t okay now when it reaches the top you know you know velocity is equal to zero initial velocity u minus of g t1 we can say or you will get an expression u is equal to g t1 or from there we can get one expression t1 is equal to u divided by g okay and what is t2 t2 is n times t1 that means t2 can be written as t2 is equal to n times u by g okay let us substitute that value in this expression and rearrange everything okay let us go to the next slide so h is equal to u t2 minus half g t square okay t2 square see minus h is equal to minus h is equal to u t2 minus of half g t2 square and t2 is given as n times u by g let us substitute that value in the expression okay so h is equal to here we can say minus of h is equal to u multiplied by t2 t2 is n u by g okay minus 1 by 2 g into n u by g the whole square let us you know do this math and finally come to an expression okay we have to match with any one of the option actually this is the final relationship okay so minus h is equal to minus h is equal to let us expand that u square u square n by g okay then minus of 1 by 2 g n square u square by g square okay again here 1 g will be cancelled out fine see we can do one thing we can multiply 1 2 here and divide 1 2 here see 1 2 i am giving here I am 2 and 1 2 here I am giving. So 2g I can take common. So minus of h is equal to 1 by 2g okay 2u square n okay minus n square u square okay. So here I can cross multiply this okay minus of h multiplied by 2g is equal to see here what all things we can take common look here so here 
n i can 1 n i can take u square i can n u square i can take common if i take n u square how much you will get 2 will get 2 this is 2 right 2 minus here 2 minus n will come right n u so 2 minus n so here if you operate this negative to this side 2 g h is equal to n u square into n minus 2 we can say let us see any option is matching or not 2 g h is equal to n yeah third option is matching right please check 2 g h is equal to n u square into n minus 2 so 2 g h is equal to n u square into n minus 2 this is the correct answer okay i hope all of you understood this solution